היום, אנחנו חיילי פלסר 401. הבקשיות של משל הסדות מאכלות לכם. אנחנו מפקדי גדוד של קשר חטיבת גבעתי. אנחנו מפקדי קצינים של חטיבת גולני. לוחמי חטיבת חילוץ של הצלם מאחלים לכם. אנחנו חיילי פלסר 401. רוצים לאחל לכולם. שבת שלום! שבת שלום! שבת שלום! שבת שלום! שבת שלום! שבת שלום! Good evening, Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to our 66th virtual Shabbat service. We have one more virtual service until we meet together in person for our summer services. We hope to be streaming these services for those who can't attend. Find details in our newsletter. Well, this Monday, we have our virtual book Havara with the book House on Endless Waters, an excellent book about the Jews of Amsterdam prior to World War II. For information, check the newsletter. Everyone's always welcome, whether or not you have read the book. Summer books include Souls of a Survivor, actually written by the author who lives in Denver, and The Lost Shtetl, an amazing story that will make great summer reading for you. We just received news that Bishvil Hamachar will be bringing wounded Israeli soldiers to Vail this August. If you'd like to get involved, please contact Janet at B'nai Vail Reservations at gmail.com. Our High Holy Day services this year will be held at the Gerald Ford Amphitheater. These services are for B'nai Vail members and if you may purchase tickets for your guests. We have a great summer in front of us with Shabbat by the Creek, on the mountain for our mountaintop services, hikes, speakers, gatherings, so much more that will keep you busy and will keep us together and in person the entire summer. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. In recent years, over 20,000 rockets of terror have been fired into Israel by Hamas and Hezbollah. Israeli artist Yaron Bob transforms these objects of destruction into expressions of beauty and peace. Rockets into Roses are limited editions of hand sculpted pieces of art and jewelry created from actual rockets that landed in Israel. These candlesticks are a sample 
of the Rockets into Roses sculptures. It's a modern day version of beating our swords into plowshares. So visit the website rocketsintoroses.com to see the beautiful transformation of terror into beauty and support the art of Israel. Please join me with Cantor Michelle as we bless the Shabbat candles. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Le'hadlik ne'er Lehadlik ner shall Shabbat Shalom. We cannot pray to you, O God, to banish war, for you have filled the world with paths to peace, if only we would take them. We cannot pray to you to end starvation. For there is food enough for all, if only we would share it. We cannot merely pray for prejudice to cease, for we might see the good in all that lies before our eyes, if only we would use them. We cannot merely pray root out our despair, for the spark of hope already waits within the human heart for us to fan it into flame. We must not ask of you, O God, to take the task that you have given us. We cannot shirk, we cannot flee away, avoiding obligation forever. Therefore, we pray, O God, for wisdom and will, for courage to do and to become, not only to look on with helpless yearning as though we had no strength, so that our land may be safe that our lives may be blessed. As we now continue with the cantor, Hine Matov, behold how good and pleasant it is for brothers and sisters to sit together in unity. We share an inclusiveness and we always work together as a larger community where everyone is invited to sit together in harmony and peace until better days of Shalom. Peace return to all of us. Hine Matov. Matovu manaim, shavet achim gam yachad. Inne matovu manaim, shavet achim gam yachad. Inne matov, shavet achim gam yachad.
Mazel tov to the Higby family who will be celebrating Ali's Bar Mitzvah this coming weekend. To Gabri and Jake, Mazel tov, and Nat and Joe. It's a wonderful weekend. You've been so involved with the congregation, and now Ali's going to lead us in a Sinai. Arriving in Jerusalem, the pilgrims lifted their eyes to the mountains and carried out in Yusan. From where does my help come? With a singular voice, they answered, My help comes from God, maker of heaven and earth. This Shabbat, as we lift our eyes to the beauty of our mountains, we welcome the Shabbat with our embrace of peace. We ask you, we ask your blessings upon all of us as we worship together. We are grateful and appreciative for this moment of rest. Um, your gift to us is called Shabbat. It comes weekly to remind us to free ourselves from those things in life that hold us back. Now in this time to set up, to set aside pretty arguments to say our family and friends I'm sorry for things best forgotten. May we never take for granted the beauty of our Rocky Mountains. Take a breath and pause as we lift our eyes. And now that each robot we are blessed with peace. We now continue with the singing of Psalm 95, Lachuna Ranana. Come sing praises to God whose hands are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains. This psalm, composed by David, is a song according to legend, has references to the time the Israelites wandered through the wilderness. As the cantor continues, Lachuna Ranana. It's 
Psalm 92 is entitled a psalm or a song for the Sabbath day. It was first recited in the temple in Jerusalem on Shabbat. Jewish tradition says that it's a psalm of praise and thanksgiving. And according to a midrash, where the rabbis discuss matters that are not found in the Bible, Psalm 92 was said by Adam who was created on the sixth day on Friday at the onset of Shabbat. Well, please join with Cantor Michelle, Sadi Katama. There is so much for which we are grateful, and now let me offer a prayer of gratitude. As the sun can be seen high in the sky above the mountains of Vail, we gather together appreciative of the many gifts we enjoy. This Shabbat, amidst the peacefulness of these surroundings, let us no longer focus upon that which we desire, but rather upon what we already savor, the quietness of the creek and the soft mountain air. We thank you each day for health of body, mind, and spirit, and let our daily actions reflect our gratefulness of our lives every moment and with every breath. So as we recite our prayers surrounded by family and friends, let us joyfully lift our voices in song, grateful to God who has given us the blessing of Shabbat. Amen. A medieval rabbi, Leon Modena, explained the meaning behind the Baruch Hu prayer this way. Imagine a man in a boat who is pulling himself to shore. If one did not know better, it would appear that he's pulling the shore to himself. But indeed, it is the one in the boat who's being moved because the shore is fixed. So it is with prayer. When we recite the Baruch Hu, we think that when we pray, we're moving God closer to our will. But true prayer does quite the opposite. The Baruch Hu moves us closer to God. The cantor continues with our call to worship, the Baruch Hu. Lie, 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 lie. 
after making it through this past year, we can all use a prayer like Ahavat Olam. It reminds us that God is with us in good times and in bad. Well, the author of the prayer, the words of Moses and Joshua were put together and made what was said 3,000 years ago relevant today. When there is darkness, we pray that God provides protection until the sun rises in the morning. The cantor will now continue with the singing Avat Allah. We continue with the most ancient prayer found within our Siddur, the Shema, as we'll join together with the Levi girls and they lead us in the Shema. As the waters closed upon the pursuing Egyptians, the Israelites joyfully sang Micha Mocha as they crossed the sea.
Elie Wiesel once wrote about how it's so important for all of us to know who's in need of healing. And I too need to know the same. So if you have a friend, a neighbor, a family member that because we're so distant, I wouldn't know about, let me know. We'd like to offer a prayer for them. Well, Wiesel wrote that once the Gera Rebbe decided to question one of his disciples and he said, so how's Moshe Yaakov doing? But the disciple didn't know. What, shouted the Rebbe, you don't know? You pray under the same roof, you study the same text, you serve the same God, you sing the same songs, yet you dare to tell me that you don't know whether Moshe Yaakov is in good health or is in need of help or advice or does he need comforting? Well, Wiesel went on to write and he said, here lies the very essence of our way of life. Every person must share in every other person's life. One must not be left alone, either in times of sorrow or in times of joy. Well, we've now arrived at that time in our service where we think about those in our community in need of healing as we join together. We should be. Eternal God, we turn to you seeking comfort, faith, and hope. Bless all of those who put themselves at risk to care for the sick. Send strength and courage to the doctors, the nurses, all the support staff in the front lines of this battle. Bless the medical scientists and researchers with insight and skill, dedication and fortitude, because they're working day and night across the world to discover healing treatments. Bless the sacred work of their hands. May this plague pass from among us speedily. Help us, God, to see that we are one world, one people. And bless especially all those who are in need of healing. Send health, O oh God, watch over us. Hear our prayer. Amen. As we now continue with Adonai Svatai, we pray, be not afraid of silence. It is more powerful 
than the unpolished word. It allows God's voice to be heard. It allows tears and doubt to tumble out. Be there with quiet compassion that flows from the depths of your being through your eyes, your touch, your sighs into your very soul. Be not afraid of silence as the cantor continues. Adonai Svatai. Adonai Svatai Tivtach Ufi Akitehi Latecha Adonai Svatai Tivtach Ufi Akitehi Latecha Peace now, peace now, peace now, peace for all, peace now, peace now, peace now, peace for all. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Let's take a moment now for a thought and a prayer. These past 18 months, I've officiated at some very small Jewish ceremonies. And as I left a small wedding or renewal of vows with just a couple, I realized something was missing. Something was missing that's usually such a big part of a Jewish ceremony. There was no music and there was no dancing. Then all of a sudden, a song came to my head. You know, the one that you can never get out of your head. Many of you will remember it. It was written by Don McLean. A long, long time ago, I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. And I knew if I had my chance, that I could make those people dance And maybe they'd be happy for a while But February made me shiver With every paper I'd deliver Bad news on the doorstep I couldn't take one more step I can't remember if I cried when I read about his widowed bride But something touched me deep inside the day 
the music died. I've always loved that song. Now, McLean's lyrics got many of us doing what we were taught to do when we studied Torah. As people listened over and over again to the words, we tried to delve deep inside their meaning and tried to find things held within the words that they had not seen before. Well, it became almost like I was back in rabbinical school, as different people came up with differing interpretations as to what and who those words were really about. Well, back in 2020, when the coronavirus lockdown was about to begin, there was indeed bad news on the doorstep and I couldn't take one more step. Each of us realized that we wouldn't be able to step outside for quite a while. We remembered the joy of our regular everyday lives that we so often took for granted. I knew if I had my chance that I could make those people dance and maybe they'd be happy for a while. Most of us knew there would be no dancing for a long time either. Something touched me deep inside the day the music died. Well, some of the interpreters of McLean's lyrics say that those words are about a trio of great music people who died in a plane crash. There are many other theories. Now, what does any of this have to do with this week's Torah portion? I couldn't help but see that song in a very different light. This is the week we read about the death of Miriam. Miriam was one of the three leaders of the Israelites, along with her brothers, Moses and Aaron. And each had their own unique qualities, their own distinctive leadership positions. Moses was the judge. He had to make rulings that sometimes upset some people. And being as busy as he was, he was perhaps seen to be a little aloof. Aaron, he was the high priest. He was also the peacemaker and had a knack of making people feel better about themselves and about others. And then there was Miriam. Miriam was many things, but what stands out to our rabbis is Miriam as the first cantor. It was Miriam who led the people in song and it was Miriam with her timbrel in her hand that led the people in dance. Now, what I found interesting was when I reread the story of Miriam's death, there was no mention of the Israelites mourning their loss. Now, I could only imagine how they must have felt inside because for the Israelites, the day of Miriam's death was the day the music died. While there's no mention of the children of Israel in mourning, we do read about Moses who had lost his sister, and his heart was aching. Despite the fact that his job as leader of the people is important, he retires to his tent in mourning. 30 days pass, what we now know as Shloshim, and the people cry out and thirst for water. So there's Moses, surrounded by 600,000 Israelites, when Moses is told by God to leave his tent, end his mourning, and go take care of his people. God addresses Moses and tells him to speak to a particular rock, and then water will begin to flow from the rock for his people. In grieving for his sister, Moses doesn't do what God tells him to do. Instead of talking to the rock, Moses impatiently lashes out and hits the rock with his staff. Now, as an aside, it's interesting to note that Elizabeth, Kubler, Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, who studied the way people deal with death and dying, mentions over and over again that one of those steps in understanding dying is anger. At that moment, Moses showed himself and he showed the people that he's not as different from them as some would like to believe. His anger, though, cost him greatly and he was not permitted to enter the promised land. 
Just like the Israelites in the wilderness were trying to prepare themselves to live a new life and a new world, this story is a reminder for each of us, each of us to find patience in our lives, to put anger aside and let it be our prayer that a long, long time ago, we need to still remember how that music used to make us smile. We know that when we have the chance that we'll make those people dance and we'll be happy for a long, long while. With patience and love, yes, we'll be happy for a long, long while. Amen. At this moment, in memory of our loved ones who are no longer with us, we join hands in love and remembrance. A link has been broken in the chain that bound us together, yet strong bonds of home and love hold us one to another. Though our loved ones are beyond our sight, we do not despair, for we will always be comforted by precious memories. Please join with me now in the Mourner's Kaddish. Yitzkadal v'yitzkadash shemei rabah v'alma divrach hirute v'yamlich malchute v'chayechon v'yomechon v'chayye d'chol beit Yisrael v'galav izman kari v'imramein yehe shemei rabah mevarach le'olam o'mei o'maya yit parach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit termam v'yit nase v'yit hadar v'yit tale v'yit talal shemei d'kudisha b'richu La Ela min kol birchata vishirata, tush bechata venechamata, damiran biamavim ramein. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya, vechayim, alenu vial ko yisrael, bim ramein. O se shalom bim ramav, huya ase shalom, alenu vial ko yisrael, bim ramein. May the sun bring each of us new energy by day, and may the moon softly restore us by night. May the rain wash away our worries and may the flowing streams give us renewed strength in our souls. May we walk gently with kindness through the world and know its beauty all the days of our lives. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Please join us with Catherine Michelle as we say Kiddush and Motsi. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, bore pari hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem min haaretz b'te avon. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, 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 Shabbat shalom,